Hi, I'm Bernd Nussbaumer from microbeat.co.uk. Uh, quite an interesting week yet again, really, with a focus still on the Mexican tariff story, as well as obviously the uh, rate cut frenzy that has broken out about the US Federal Reserve cut after a rather very weak ADP uh, data. So today I would really like to go into a few of the asset classes and just show what sort of impact this current sort of push and pull uh, is doing to the market. So the push and pull really is all about the, uh, you know, we have the Mexico tariff risk on the one hand, which could open the door to maybe us having to forget a US-China solution. On the other hand, we have, as I just mentioned, the rate cut frenzy, where the market just expects a lot of cuts in a very short period of time, which is obviously supporting the market to some extent. So we have two contradictory things that I want to look at. And the first slide I would like to look at is the uh, Federal Reserve or the Fed Funds uh, chart, what the market is expecting in terms of cuts. So on the first slide, what you do see is just an extreme move lower in the uh, Fed Fund expectations. So we have almost uh, 70 to 75 basis points now that the market thinks the Fed is going to be cutting in the remainder of this year. On the bottom half, you see how the volume has increased sharply. And it's really striking how much the market is suddenly betting on cuts. And I truly believe the market is really wrong in terms of expecting cuts of such a size in such a short period of time. But we come to that later. On the next slide, we have the uh, Dow Jones. I know I show that sort of every week, but what we see there is really the melt up that we see that is really on the base of uh, all these rate cut expectations. And you can't really rule out this to continue, uh, especially should we get a weak non-farm period today that would just give even more fuel to uh, rate cut expectations. On the flip side, obviously, we have the trade war risk or the escalation of it. So this sort of rally in equities is, uh, could really come to a sudden end, especially should there be tariffs be introduced in Mexico for next week. On the next chart, that is oil, and that's really almost the sort of opposite of it. Here we had a tremendous move lower. You know, it only took us about five, six trading days to collapse around 18%. Uh, holding at its very massive 50-50 level, which was able to hold uh, uh, this week, and we see a, a quite a nice 6% bounce off that level. But this is really the opposite, where you would expect oil to do a little bit better on, on cut hopes, because obviously Fed cuts would probably weaken the dollar somewhat and should stabilize oil. But that's really just to show how negative the market is becoming on the economy, the global economy, as well as the US economy. On the next slide, we have gold. Here we see the market just go into that frenzy of, of Fed rate cuts that could weaken the dollar, that could you know, mean the economy is really in a bad state. Uh, again, here I think the market is a little bit ahead of the curve here, but this is just to show the impact of what the market truly believes, that there's really trouble around the corner. On the next slide, we have the dollar index. The dollar has been holding up quite well in the last few months, but now we start to see the dollar starts a little bit to wobble around all these rate cut uh, uh, talk. We are still holding into the 2019 channel for the time being, but there is definitely some risk, especially if we get a really weak non-farm payroll today, that this could actually mean a lower dollar in the short term. I still don't believe it's going to last because the rate or oh, sorry, the, the trade war risk is far bigger at this point in time. And I think an escalation on the trade war would just see the dollar roaring back rather strongly. The last slide I have here is dollar max. That is really just to show the impact that we had since the, Mr. Trump tweeted about the tariffs to be introduced in Mexico. We had a 3% weakening of the peso. We consolidate up here. Uh, there's some more talks going tonight and we could actually get the news over the weekend. So it's anyone's guess where Dollar Max is going to be on Monday, whether they reach an agreement or not. So this is it for this week. And as I said, non-farm perils today, they could really change everything right, uh, right again. I think just keep a hit and run approach. That's me, Pierre Nussbaumer from macrobeat.co.uk. Thank you.